10. Warner has time. Fitzgerald into Steeler territory. 30, 20, 10. Arizona has the lead. On February 1st, 2009, Kurt Warner found Larry Fitzgerald for a go-ahead touchdown pass in Super Bowl 43. The Cardinals would lose that game in dramatic fashion, but head coach Ken Wisenhunt's job was never safer. The next year, with Warner back under center, the Cardinals went back to the playoffs. But after suffering a brutal hit against the Saints, Warner retired. Wisenhunt and general manager Rod Graves were tasked with finding a replacement. Option number one was Matt Leiner, a first round draft pick of USC. He was released prior to the season. The second choice was journeyman Derek Anderson, which quickly became an abject failure. I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed on Monday Night Football in front of everybody. The next man up, undrafted rookie Max Hall, was a neat story with a bad ending. Before the 2011 season, the Cardinals traded for Philadelphia Eagles backup Kevin Cobb, then promptly signed him to an undeserving five-year, $65 million contract. Cobb led the Cardinals to a 1-6 record, then got injured. Backup John Skelton stepped in and, despite throwing for 11 touchdowns and 14 interceptions, the Cardinals won seven of their last nine games, but missed the playoffs. That brings us to this year, where the question all offseason was, Cobb or Skelton? Skelton or Cobb? Wisenhunt went with John Skelton, who got hurt in the first game. Cobb stepped in and led the Cardinals to an improbable victory. Despite Cobb's erratic play, the team started off 4-0. But in typical Cardinal fashion, Ken Wisenhunt's team has dropped seven straight, with the revolving door at quarterback continuing on from Cobb to Skelton to rookie six-rounder Ryan Lindley. With another disappointing season looming and the quarterback situation as messy as ever, the question now becomes, who is responsible?